Hey YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new here, howdy, welcome. And if you're returning on back, well, welcome on back. You already know what the deal is. So there is a fresh new pile of crap swirling around the toilet bowl of TikTok. And to be honest, most of you have probably already seen it. What is supposed to be beautiful, heartfelt, loving vows from a husband to his bride is quickly not that and it is turned into a man degrading his wife in front of his whole family on their wedding day in front of everybody and god anything you want to say to your future bride i hope we have a lot of you're screwed <laughs> <laughs> only two things are required to keep me happy keep my belly full and my balls empty well, you're amazing at half of it. We really need to get you some cooking lessons. <laughs> Even when my belly isn't full, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. Since the beginning, I was always told life gets even better when the kids fall asleep and you tell me to come to the bedroom. Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. P.S. Since you're so good at making decisions like Mary and me, you can choose whether tonight's going to end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need to keep receipts. Don't pop no tags off. Don't spill no coffee on that dress. Because, baby, <laughs> baby. For real, though, all jokes aside, don't let anybody talk to you like that. Especially if they are your love interest, your person, somebody you're about to marry. You know, it's really hard because I can't tell if she's laughing because of she thinks it's funny or I wonder if she's laughing because she's embarrassed. Like, oh my God, I don't know this man. <laughs> Help me. Either way, ain't nothing funny about this at all. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing uplifting, ain't nothing a pat on the back, ain't nothing loving, appreciating, caring. The only thing that he said that was good, I guess, is that he can take care of her in a certain kind of way. I mean, I guess that's important. I, look. Look. Yeah, you might talk crap to your partner and say some sus stuff like this to them, but in private or around your friends and like it's something that that's how you guys play. But this is not a playful situation like my mom is over there and my grandma is right there about to have a heart attack just because of you. Wow. Thank you, Jacob. I don't know his name, but thanks, Jacob. And to be honest, I cannot believe that the bride continued on with her vows. You won't believe what she responded with. Or maybe you will. Check this out. I am Chunning Armor, my best friend, my biggest pain in the ass. Our adventure started a little shy of 10 years ago. And in that 10 years, we have already accomplished so much together and created a beautiful life. When I met you in school, I started crushing on you, but I didn't dare let it be known because I thought you were too good for me. So I let it go. If they say if you truly love someone or something, let it go. And if it comes back to you, then it was meant to be. Now here you are standing in front of me on our wedding day. I'm more than thankful for every day with you. You have completely stolen my heart and I honestly never want you to give it back. You are one of the most selfless, funniest, caring people I have ever met, not to mention very accident prone. We've created two of the most beautiful girls in this world together. We bought our first house. We've made it through the rough times and the good times. And since I have you, I know we will always make it through. Thank you for choosing me to create your life with. I know I'm no model, by far not a good cook, unless you want soggy meatloaf. <laughs> And as we all know, I'm the real sleeping beauty with a temper. But thank you for loving me still, the way you do. You are literally making the fairy tale I always dreamed of come true. Well, maybe a little more funnier than I imagined. But it's still way more than I could ever ask for. I will forever want you rocking beside me when we're old, talking about our day, making jokes, recalling memories. So he told you that you're only good at taking the steps that you took to make your children and you can't cook you turn around professing your love praising this man 
I'm just saying, if my partner, my person said some stuff like that at the altar, like in front of everybody and their mama and sons, ain't no wedding. Who get married? Who's this for? Did somebody, I would, turn, okay. Thank you guys for coming, right? Um, Is there anyone who's just recently got engaged? If not, I'm gonna need all my money back. I need y'all to pay for y'all plates, okay? I'm walking clean the off okay and on my way down back down the aisle i'm walking and i'm texting looking for your phone number right now to block you and you better hope my cousin day day ain't got on black air force ones on the day of our wedding he did not once say that he loved her appreciated her care about her but he absolutely made sure that she did not know how to cook and she, he told everybody about that how embarrassing but honestly it shows that there is a strong possibility that the bride does not know her worth how beautiful she is how amazing she actually is you don't have to be amazing to not know how to cook did i say that right you don't have to be amazing and know how to cook y'all know what i'm trying to say the bride goes on and on praising this man. Then she follows behind shortly after that talking bad about herself saying she's no model and that she isn't good enough for him. Like sis, stop. Like and nobody tried to say anything. I mean at this point can't nobody do anything to ruin this moment because when he opened his mouth from the <gasps> before he started talking it was already ruined. What I'm trying to say is clearly he's not validating her in the way that she needs to be validated. It's giving, he's not making her feel valid enough, wanted enough, enough, period. And I understand like, you know, you're not supposed to come into a, a relationship like feeling bad about yourself, not loving yourself or seeing yourself. But you know, obviously he saw something in her that he wanted to keep around i mean they got kids together and like it's okay to grow with somebody again he didn't see a problem with her in the beginning because they're they're getting married but of course the bride or wife by this point she commented saying so i'm the bride and no this isn't a red flag we have been together for 10 years now and decided to get married right before our 10th year. Okay, wow, yay, congratulations for that. But he don't give a f about you. Girl, he literally just spit in your face. And you kissed his feet talking about some basically, thank you, sir, I'm not worthy. The fact that he talked like this in front of his children, his daughters, Imagine your kids hearing you speak like that to their mother and thinking, oh, I can't wait for my boyfriend to tell me what I can't do and what I'm good at only sexually. Y'all, did y'all catch the part that in this man's vowels, he mentioned another woman? Famous or not famous, that is disgusting. Like, what am I even here for? You should have brought a, a poster and married that. Like, you think she'll want you? Do you think Margaret wants you? If this is your sense of humor, good for you. Great. But I just feel like on a wedding day, you're supposed to be all lovey-dovey and like teary-eyed and like, I love you in front of everybody. Like, tell me some good stuff. Tell me, you know. But talking that way in front of her, y'all's mother, grandmother, daughter, sister, brother, cousins, I don't care who it is. Talking like that on a wedding day, on a wedding day. Uh, and just so you guys know, there are a lot of people like defending this guy. And you know what? I'm not even gonna hold you. I could understand that. Especially if the family and friends knew that, okay, this is how Ryan is. I don't know his name. I don't know his real name. And it's gonna keep changing. Anyways, this is how Ryan is. And Ryan is gonna make x y and z jokes but you guys nobody was really laughing until he made that stupid joke at the end nobody thought it was funny and the woman who was standing in between them was like michael oh that's his name michael i just hope that that woman knows that she is incredibly beautiful she's amazing some people love soggy meatloaf and girl go find that man who do go find that man who do and to be real, to be quite frank, like, I honestly, I'm speaking from my point of view. Like, I don't care 
if we play like that every day of the week it's a wedding love me shower me in love stop playing let's be serious and tell everybody how great i am i mean we all know but tell me again anyways guys thank you so much for watching i truly do appreciate you guys taking time out to spend time with little old me i could not express enough how much you all mean to me please remember to subscribe like and comment let's have a conversation down below and never ever forget who loves you the most it is i i love you i love you i love you and until next time guys see you in the next video <laughs> bye